What's up guys, today I'm going to bring in, bring, be bringing you a tutorial on how to make my background I think this is a very good effect that um, I've only really started to use First what you want to open Cinema 4D We'll make a new project What you want to do, go to render settings, output Film, video, HDV, HDTV, 720, 25. And then we'll come back to all the other options later. First what you want to do is put a floor down. You can just turn your ca camera around so it's in, so it's quite looking straight on. And just zoom out and then lower it down a little bit. So it's sort of you looking straight on at it. Then bring it up. Once you've done that, um, you want to add a plane. Just go into the cube plane. Or just got to do. Oh god. On the whip. Oh, I haven't got num knock on. Um, add it to all night or oh, couple of nines nines again get the rotate tool hold shift and do it to 90 degrees once you've done that just move it backwards to the edge of the f or wherever really because the floor's infinite so it doesn't really matter and then then what we want to do is add some spheres so what you can do just add a sphere Put it into the middle of your uh, object, into the, your scene, and copy and paste each of these shapes. So you can add a couple, or add five here. Yeah. Oh god. And try and get them evenly spaced out, it doesn't really matter if you can't. Once you've done that, you want to add some materials, so just open a couple of materials out at the bottom. And first one is going to be for the floor, so just make it a little bit brighter and add take off specular and then add a reflection of 20 and then apply that to the floor and to the plane. plane right so you then want to do your ball colors so just just add a reflection straight off of 75 I think this works quite well you don't have to change any colors you can if you want but just apply them to each of the spheres then want to add a area of light so just bring that above your balls that's only wrong but then hold shift again and rotate it 90 degrees right. so then click your multi view tab and then just make it a little bit bigger and then bring bring it across to your first sphere make it a little bit just make the box a little bit wider as well so it covers about one and a half of your spheres and just keep on copy and paste in each of them bringing them across and lining them up so you've covered all of them here you then want to go on to all each of them and on general change the colour to red and then shadow shadow map soft next light general make it a yellow shadow map soft then your last one general make it a bluey colour shadow map soft we go back onto our thing we should now just quickly have a quick render 
you can see you've got all the reflection here and I, I might turn the reflection down to about 60 there you go dry it out again that's better go into your render settings add a ambient inclusion and a global illumination and on save just save it as a jpeg if you want it to make it straight background which i do um, you then want to quickly save it as whatever you want to call it so just call it like balls background sounds very wrong again um yeah balls background there you and to save it then you want to close that make your everything how uh, you want it you can change the colors if you want so if you're if you want it to be all like orange red and yellow or green yellow and blue I don't know you can do any colors pink purple white do whatever colors you want so quickly click render and let this all render out and then so once it's rendered then you have done and it'll go straight onto where you saved it so I want to tell you guys about my other channel I'm going to be starting um, it's Carbon Games XD so I'm going to be doing some let's plays hopefully I think I'm going to be starting a Portal 2 let's play that should be quite good also go and check out my friend's channel EXZico he does Terraria let's plays and he's quite funny so let this render I found this sort of I will be bringing some more tutorials hopefully because I've got a new mic so it sounds a lot better so this is what I sound like and yeah it's a Philips SHM 1900 I think that's it yeah that's it it takes very long I'm using my laptop to do this because it's quicker than my computer downstairs oh, I think it's like an Acer what is it an Acer 5336 I'm reading it upside down yeah, making sure that was right. Yeah, it's an alright computer, it's very fast. All the if you've got the right stuff, then it's fast. Um, yeah, I'll quickly add there. Um, while it's still loading, my background here, I it was sort of an experiment really because I was just adding some reflections and on this one I used like pink, green, blue, red, yellow I had loads of colours and um, yeah so and then I didn't really realise how I made this shadow bit here but it just seems to appear as you can see you can't, you can't see it on the like, picture but on the rendered image it shows so it's rendering that now of course you can have any you can make the balls any colors you want so you can have all different colors you can change the shadows so they're built so they're less black you can you can do whatever you want so this is my right, attempt and just say that and um yeah this is Dan from Garden Designs and peace out and I'll leave you with the final image.